All right, I've got a brand new DCEU update for you guys today, and it is early in the morning where I live, but I had to get this information out as quickly as possible. It is confirmed Henry Cavill is back as Superman in Black Adam. This has been confirmed by multiple uh, sources as of yesterday and last night. I woke up to all of these reports this morning, and some of these are are from some very reputable reputable outlets. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this is pretty freaking awesome. We're going to talk about what suit he's going to be wearing and what kind of music they're going to be playing. So Henry Cavill has reportedly returned as Superman in Black Adam with John Williams' classic theme in the background. All right, so this is taking place in a post credit scene, and we're just, you know, this is pretty awesome news. Uh, we're finally getting confirmation from many sources. Now, what they're claiming is that his suit is going to be back with, uh, with a, lighter, a lighter suit. Uh, it's going to be in the theme of Zack Snyder's Superman suit, but with lighter colors. So more of the classic suit colors, but using the original suit from, uh, from Man of Steel. The music they decided to play is going to be the music from John Williams. It's going to be John Williams' score. And I definitely have some feelings on this, and I'm going to talk about what it means with the suit as well as the music. Well, first of all, I think this is freaking awesome. We finally get confirmation that Henry Cavill is back, and he is going to be the Superman going forward. So they're pretty much making everything that's happened before canon, and we're going to see what The Flash does to the universe when it gets released. But as of now, everything is canon. We still don't know about Zack Snyder's Justice League fully, but if you do watch, if you've seen some of the trailers for Black Adam, they do show a nightmare scene from Dr. Fate that does kind of mimic the, you know, the overall nightmare sequence from Batman versus Superman and also from Zack Snyder's Justice League. So it, it does look like they're trying to fit all the pieces here together. And I'm just glad that The Rock was able to get, and I could guarantee you Rock has some pull in Hollywood. If you've seen what the kind of projects he has going on and how big his company is, there are some big things coming up. And one thing I found out after my last video is that both Henry Cavill and The Rock were staying in the exact same hotel this past week to talk about something for the future. There was some big meeting that The Rock was there for. He has a video talking about being at this hotel and that he's there for a big meeting for some things happening in the future. And it just so happens that Henry Cavill was in that same <laughs> that same hotel. Now, does that mean 100% for certain that he was there for that meeting? No, but I'll tell you what, it's a pretty big coincidence out of all of the hotels that there could be that they end up in the same hotel at the exact same time. So take that for what you will. Uh, we'll we, there's definitely things happening behind the scenes. So let's talk about the suit and also the music. It really doesn't matter what suit he's coming in. That is not going to be confirmation one way or the other that Zack Snyder's Justice League is canon. A lot of people think he has to come back in the black suit. I would have preferred that for continuity. But if you go back to Zack Snyder's Justice League and you watch him go back to the ship, there was a full Superman suit there that he could have used, but he chose the black suit. Now, the black suit has regenerative powers, which we know from the comic book. And he wouldn't need that forever just for when he, you know, he's getting, you know, basically reincarnated and getting back to normal so he can have more strength and soak up more of the sun. Let's talk about John Williams' score. Now, while I would have preferred to see, uh, you know, I love in Zack Snyder's Justice League when he returns and they play uh, the music from Man of Steel. It's very emotional, very well done. But you have to admit, there's a pull for that that original music by John Williams. It's one of the greatest scores ever created, and it has some impact. So when he does finally re reveal himself in the film, to have that music to back him up and for him to come back and be the Superman we've been waiting for, we saw him return as the Superman we've all wanted at the end of Zack Snyder's Justice League, then I'm all for it. Uh, I don't think that's a bad thing. I just... Now that he's going to be moving forward, this does mean we are going to have more projects with Henry Cavill. 
And it would be nice if when they do these future sequels and have him, that they're not just using the John Williams score. I hope that's just something to be used as, you know, hey, he's back, this is freaking awesome type of reveal. Uh, Apparently, the actual scene is a little bit more than just a small cameo. It's a full-on scene where he basically says he has to have a conversation with Black Adam. So we're going to see when the movie comes out. I think this is going to get more people in the theaters. It's going to get people excited. And I just wish Warner Brothers themselves would come out and make an official announcement. They do have the New York City Comic Con this week, and it would be nice to see if something was announced at that point. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. If anything else big happens this week, I will be doing another video. I do appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one.